What's up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to another Ball Mike Does Golf video. I told you I would be recording my first swings in a month now. So a little story, dealing with some serious golfer's elbow, had injections, had three, had one in my ass, one in my arm, one directly in the elbow. Haven't hit a golf ball. Uh, it's been almost, a, it'll be a month tomorrow, actually. And also, my pain started happening at this spot here, X Golf in Leewood, June 8th. I've been, I was dealing with golfer's elbow and both elbows. So, doctor said, go try it out, man. So, I've been doing some own rehab, physical therapy, all that kind of jazz. So, hit a few shots here. And uh, this is my first shot in a month. I'm not gonna get any, do anything too crazy. Um, see how well this uh, kind of tough to pick all this stuff up guys so I apologize I'm not lucky enough to have a cameraman not gonna overdo it tonight it's gonna make some nice routine this is a 58 degree here nice little uh, nice little you know just little shots that was terrible I was pretty fat I'm trying not to have any pain at all in this uh, and this uh, right arm, because this was the one that was really painful. I am extremely timid, you can't tell, to hit the fucking ball, because of how, how bad it hurt. So, let's hit a little, a few little chip shots here. Feel good, I've been doing some stretching and stuff like that. <coughs> That's a pretty good one. All right, and I'll also be showing you guys, this is still using the old Costco gloves here. Um, be showing you some, I got a Jumbo Max grip, so see how that goes tonight too. Wow, I'm actually impressed. See how many shots I've got here. Now this ball's pretty, Pretty smooth here, so it's like shot number four there. Let's hit a couple more with the old lob wedge. You can tell I'm hitting them heavy. And I do not mean to do that because the good news is there's a little bit of give. Some of these mats around here, like at St. Andrews Golf Course, Lady Sykes, they have zero give. And that's what's that's what's destroyed my my arm. Hitting off those stupid ass mats. Oh, there we go. There we go. That was a good one there. All right, so I'm gonna switch to the, uh, switch to my lo uh, my gap wedge now. LA Golf Shaft, you guys know. <clears throat> I hit a handful of these. See if I can hit this somewhere about, I don't know, let's say 105 yards. If I could carry it exactly 105 yards, not bad, not bad at all. These balls down here, no more rain in Oklahoma. Now guys, let me know where you're tuning in from. Here in Kansas, it is hotter than shit. It looked like that carried about 108. This might be a little longer video, so I do apologize. Everyone wants to know, get to that driver. Well, I'm going to, folks, hold on. See, that's, those are the shots that I can't hit right there. I cannot hit those heavy fucking shots because it's just gonna, fucking destroy my arm. That was another heavy shot. Well, good news is haven't experienced any pain yet. 
hit one more here with the old gap wedgeage. See how it goes. That one was pretty good. So far, no pain. I'm, I'm liking it. This is the first time I've been without pain in two and a half months. As you can see, I got copper fit on both knees, elbows, and here we go. Jumbo max grip, first swing, MP18 pitching wedge, standard 46 degree loft, about four degrees upright, standard length. We'll see how it does. So now I'll call out some, I'd like to be able to hit this thing <clears throat> tonight. 122, 125. Not looking to get any kind of record distances out of this thing tonight. Just seeing how I can. Holy shit. I just hit that 146. Holy shit. If that's accurate, it's pretty fucking good. Let me turn on my PRGR here. Sometimes this machine at X Golf can get like the numbers are a little bit enhanced or something. Let's see what kind of number I get out of my PRGR. I actually trust this PRGR as much as I do anything I've seen. It's pretty damn good. Oh, and of course I hit it fucking fat. Smoked the first one, so that was 119 carry on their machine. Mine says 106. See, and I hit this, and I hit that pretty damn fat. So my guess is I hit it a lot closer to 10, 106, something like that. Another heavy shot. 102 carry on mine, that said 112. That's a shitty golf ball. <clears throat> I mean, not bad guys. The only thing I'm worried about these jumbo max grips are um, my hands keeping a hold of them. Due to the humidity, that is absolutely smoked there. 146 carry, PRGR says 125. Again, I'm gonna say that that's probably closer to about 125 carry. So I will definitely take that. I already told myself I wouldn't go at it hard and I just went at it hard, damn it. That's 150 carry, 130 carry. So I'm digging this, I'm digging this fucking Jumbo Max. I don't know if I'll put them on my um, my lob wedge and my gap wedge. Maybe. Let me know what you guys. If you guys have got these Jumbo Max grips, um, these are the mediums, ultralights. I've had to do a lot of work with them to uh, get them. I put Windex this soap, everything I can, just to make them so they're a lot, little more tacky. I set them outside today in the heat, trying to tack them up and stuff like that too, so we'll see how it goes. And one thing where I bought these is to help with the, the dampening of the, <coughs> of the shock of the swing. Well, one more here at the, the old P-Dub. So far, so good, no pain. That's what I'm looking for the most, is just no pain. The hell was that? All right, that's kind of chunky, but I'll take it. We'll hit the old seven iron next. I only brought, I only put, I brought some sandpaper with me to rough it up if I need to kind of go as a, a feel here. So put the PRGR on, seven iron setting here. If you guys are looking for something to measure your your, uh, 
your distances and stuff like that. I highly recommend this PRGR for 200 and some odd dollars. It's as good as it's as good as anything out there <clears throat> compared to twenty twenty five thousand dollar machines and whatever this thing cost. All right, so I'd like to get somewhere about one seventy five out of this tonight. I smoked that. Yeah. First one out of the gate. That says 203 carry. This says 175. So I'm going to say this one was a little better. Yeah, hell, if I can get to 125 ball speed, 130. First time in a month hitting a golf ball. I'm in. And I hit it fat. That's okay. I wasn't expecting. Um, wasn't expecting a, a an outstanding performance tonight. Just something that was d decent. And these Costco gloves are not bad, guys, but they fucking stretch out easily. The durability on them's on pretty solid with the sweating parts really good too. So. All right, one more here at the old seven iron. God dang it, I'm gonna hit another one. See, Just hitting it a little bit uh, skosh heavy here. <clears throat> Might be rocking or something, I'm not sure. I'm not hitting the golf ball in a while. It definitely ain't easy, folks. I I'm not a not a pro anymore. Not bad. I'll take it. Now I'm gonna hit uh, hit a couple of my of my favorite clubs, the old Ping Four Hybrid here. <coughs> this is probably my one of my favorite clubs in the bag. I'd like to get this somewhere. Oh shit. Let's just say two, 225, 230. I don't have a jumbo max on this one yet, so. Just wanted to try them out tonight, see how I like. I got them on my driver, so we'll see how it goes here in just a couple minutes. My best ever ball speed with this. It was about 154 or five. And that there was 122. So, like I said, not trying to get anything crazy tonight. Just wanna just hit some balls and, and uh, see where I'm at. A couple more here. There we go. 138, I'll take that. PRGR says 135, so I'm good. <clears throat> you guys want to see the driver anyway, so let's fucking do it. All right, ping. Um, what the fuck is this damn thing? Ping G4 3010K. Uh, set to seven and a half. If I can get to, I mean, honestly, tonight, probably 160 ball speed if I'm lucky. I don't know how well this grip's gonna do. Let's see if uh, see how I like the grip or not. Let's get the T height set up here. Let's take a couple swings right there and see how she does. All right, so if I can get this first one to 160, I'll be crapping myself. Ain't at 160, it's 148. Not very good. Not very good. I think I need a little more height. There we go, let's try that. 
it might take a little bit, so 105 swing speed, so <clears throat> not bad. I'd like to maybe get to about 115 tonight, so I don't want to overdo that either. There's 155 ball speed, <clears throat> same as mine, so we're good. That was a little more center punch there. <clears throat> and if I could keep this thing on here and keep it from going left, holy shit, I'll be super fucking happy. Oop. Why is this fucker? All right, folks. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe button as I'll be doing more um, long drive stuff. Hopefully, you guys can see all the stuff here. Um, and uh, do some comparison videos. Don't want to do anything crazy tonight. I'm just coming here to hit the ball because I haven't hit a golf ball in a month. But thanks for anyway for tuning in. Jumbo Max Grips, really digging them so far. Really digging them. Thanks, Matt, for the, for the recommendation, brother. Yeah, that's 162 ball speed. 161 on mine, so almost the same numbers on that. So, <coughs> wow. I mean, okay, guys. Not bad for an old geezer, 46 years old in a couple months. All right, let me hit a couple more here. Pretty fucking salty there. I will say this: um, the ping driver isn't as fast as a lot of shit, but I don't care. I'm tired of missing shit left and right and all over. So, so we'll see. So far, I'm liking it. Yeah, look how straight that fucker is. All right, guys, well, you guys wanna see me hit my, see if I can get this thing rocking and rolling here. Do a couple swings with the new setup I got here. LTD, set at five degrees. Don't want that ball, it's a piece of shit. Set at five degrees, 19 high, TPT. Let me see here. Get a couple swings here to try to get to my. I've never hit a long drive <clears throat> club shaft, etc., with a jumbo max. So, wish me luck. Hopefully, I don't throw it through the fucking screen or some shit like that. Well, not bad. Pretty fucking straight, folks. 113 swing speed. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, see, that's what I'm afraid of. That right there, the hand slipped, completely slipped off the fucking club. And I don't wanna do that because when you do shit like that, that's when you fucking get hurt. Um, and I and you miss hit the club and you know all that shit, you can get hurt. And that's how that's how it triggers my fucking elbow to get hurt and shit like that. So all right, hit a couple more here. See, the thing is, I can tell it's fucking sliding. So the only thing I was worried about with this grip, once you start swinging harder, <clears throat> my hands just can't keep a hold of it. Fucking thing. 
See if I can get a get a good wallop on this bitch whore. I'll make sure this thing doesn't drop down during my swing or some shit. Here we go. That was not a good swing. Yeah, I'm having a hard time. Hard time keeping a hold of it since I'm swinging harder. That's one, 115 right there. 115 swing speed. There we go. There we go. I hit that one pretty good. I keep hitting them out on the damn toe. There we go. All right, guys, that's pretty good there. That was a 166 ball. 334 total distance. And mine says 115 swing, so hit one more here. Yeah, I'm liking this setup. Like it a lot. Once I get my my body dialed back in and I know that I can handle pushing speed again, I'll be really excited. Really, really excited. So thanks for tuning in guys. Thanks for staying along here. My goal, January 1st, as long as my body can hold up to get into that two pushing that 200 ball. So I got Today's August 26th, so you got all of September, October, November, December. I got four months to basically gain 40 miles an hour. So it's 10 a month. It's doable. So I was getting there, perfect hands golf, you know, and everything like that before. Uh, but, you know, shit's happened last, you know, in the springtime. And, and uh, so I quit training, blah, blah, blah. I, got in, I, was, I didn't really train it the last winter at all. And then I got to going back in the spring, you know, I got in the 180s pretty well. So, you know, in the mid 120 to 25 to 28 swing speed. So get there again. Now I want to see 130 consistently. All right. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. I just want to say I appreciate it. Um, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to keep uh, banging some golf balls. My elbow's holding up right now. Um, it'll probably be sore. I'm going to go home and ice it and all that stuff when I get home. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the notification icon bell. I'll be doing some head-to-head -head with these, uh, these long drive drivers and stuff like that. Uh, Jumbo Max Grips. Liking them so far. Really like them on the irons. I uh, like them on my play driver. So we'll see how they go on the long drive stuff. So anyway, as always, God bless. Have a great week, guys. Go Kansas City Chiefs.